I'm ready. Okay, good. Uh, listen, I'm having a uh, wonderful chat with uh, John Bondell. He is the chair of theater Depart theater arts department at Westmont College. He is the uh, founder and artistic director of Lit Moon Theater, a wonderful international theater company. And we are talking today about an upcoming production at the New Vic Theater, the fabulous uh, venue I want to speak about here in a bit. Theater arts department at Westmont College is going to do a... a chamber, I believe we discussed this earlier, John, a chamber kind of version of Johann Strauss II's gigantic gala ballroom dancing huge cast version of Die Fledermaus in the uh, wonderful, really very intimate venue of the Nuvik Theater, which has, I guess, been open for maybe a couple, three years now, beautiful space. And so we're going to want to talk all about that production, but let me just throw a couple quick things in. Uh, Westmont College Theater Arts Department production is Strauss, the Fledermaus, the Bat. Some say it's the Revenge of the Bat. We'll talk about that one. Uh, at the New Vic Theater in downtown Santa Barbara, that's 33 West Victoria Street. Tickets, 17 bucks and 12 bucks for students. Can't beat that one. Students and seniors for 12 bucks. That's, that's a deal. Box office uh, number for Ensemble Theater, which is the sort of, that's the home of the Ensemble Theater, the box office for tickets for the Fledermaus. Area code 805, for those of you watching outside of the Santa Barbara area, 805-965-5400. Okay, let's go. What on earth made uh, the decision? Who, who came up with the idea of Fleet Well, House? yeah, yeah. Um, and, and first of all, good morning, Dan. It's really good great morning. to see and talk to you again. Uh, the One of the things that we've been doing at the college for the last several years is we've been doing a number of really great um, collaborations between the music and theater arts department. This really started in 2013 with Gilbert and Sull Sullivan's Pirates of Penzance, and that became a huge hit. We went to the um, KCACTF Regional Festival with it in Los Angeles, and we were actually given three national awards from the Kennedy Center. And so that really started to, um, you know, kind of both raise the bar of what we're doing and start to, you know, suggest that, well, maybe we're really onto something here. Um, that in these, you know, co-productions between theater and music departments, you know, of course you find lots of small colleges like us doing musicals, but you don't maybe find a whole lot of small colleges doing opera and operetta. So the next year we did a couple of small one-act operas. We did a Minotti. Uh, we did a Pergolesi. We then the year after that we did Dido and Aeneas, and then now here we're two years later and we're doing um, Strauss and Deflator Mouse. So um, the, the 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 decision to do this was really a, a collaboration between myself and Michael Schossberger and his team, both with the thinking that this is you know this is kind of up the developmental food chain, <laughs> you know. Okay, we're we're from Gilbert and Sullivan. Okay, let's go to Purcell and, you know, okay, okay, what's next? And, well, okay, let's <laughs> let's just bite off this big one. And um, so um, this material both, we felt, was um, both challenging for the students, but also famous um, enough for the... Um, for for Santa Barbara opera lovers and also intriguing enough for those who might not popularize opera, but this would be a great introduction to it. So, um, you know, a, a fabulous kind of unwieldy, extensive, expansive comic plot full of 18th and 19th century um, comic artificiality and comic conventions amidst this amazing lavish score and then but also on you know underneath it a bunch of you know kind of you know the little little kind of social problems you know problems between friends and problems between uh, married couples that you know of course other kind of artists are going to plumb for all sorts of serious <laughs> issues and it's not necessarily <laughs> part of the you know a serious exploration in this opera but it's still there kind of nudging everything and you know and 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 kind of being percolating underneath the the surface. I say that there are kind of three big stories that, uh, in this operetta. There's the big 
Strauss lavish score and then that's one great story and then there's the story of the comic plot and the revenge of Dr. Falk and the trick that um, Gabriel von Eisenstein played on him four years ago that becomes the impetus for this um, plot of, of, of this operetta. And then we've got these kind of more serious questions that are bubbling beneath the surface. Um, and then we've kind of let kind of come out now and then in our show. <laughs> so it's a, uh, as it should very well be, we know that this, uh, that Fledermaus is performed in New Year's, you know, because of all the splendor and the waltzes and the, and the ballroom scenes. Uh, this uh, we is going to be uh, more of a farcical uh, approach, eh? With maybe just the tiniest little hints of the undertoes of the 1870s and the troubles that people had then, huh? Yeah, we're trying to highlight the comedy. We're trying to highlight some of the absurdity of it. We're trying to highlight the freshness, the fun, the exuberance. Um, and then when we want to try to touch on something a little bit more serious, well, it'll be a moment of that. And then we're going to move off into something that's a little bit more outrageous and then just let this great score do its work. Yeah. And yeah. so we've, we've um, the, the, the kind of the staging of it as you mentioned, um, really um, taking the idea of taking this lavish and expansive thing and trying to condense it, compress it a little bit. Um, all of the music, um, all of the all of the musical text, um, all of the score is really intact. I mean, we've cut one small ballet, um, but otherwise the music is all there. But we have streamlined is the book scenes between the um um between the musical numbers and we've kind of re I've rewritten some of that text and um tried to give it a you know kind of a contemporary you know charge and allure and so one of the things i've been telling people is oh we've taken this big operetta and we've kind of transformed it into a little chamber opera which um it's, is is working and i think at this jewel of a theater of the new vic downtown i think it's going to look great and i really um, trust that it's going to sound great as well and what is that experience because i know this is the first time that westmark college uh, theater is using the new vic i know you've done other productions in black box environments downtown santa barbara and so on to, and it is important don't we agree even with ucsb westmont for both campuses to come come together a little more in downtown Santa Barbara. What has that been like for students to, to have suddenly this gorgeous, beautiful, fully professional theater? Well, every, every, that's a great question. And everyone is so excited. I mean, we, we're, um, we're loading in tomorrow. We have our last dress up here at Westmont. Then we take everything, the whole kit and caboodle, and we bring it down. We have a tech on Wednesday. We have a dress on Thursday, and we invite people come see it on Friday. And but the whole team at the New Vic has been incredibly helpful to us. They've really been in you know, I sent an email, you know, months and months ago to Jonathan Fox, what do you think about this? They were open, they were interested, they were engaged, they want to they really they really welcomed us down there. And the whole team down there include the, including the production manager Richard Croy, um they have been nothing but but helpful and supportive and really help and you know in, involved in trying to provide this opportunity for our students and our audiences because the new Vic is so well equipped and um, is so well appointed that it gives our students an opportunity to play in a facility that is really, you know, newly renovated and is a jewel of a space um, and has, you know, has some more bells and whistles than what we have at our theater at Westmont. So it's an opportunity to, um, for you know, for them to, um, uh, to show this work in a bit different environment for our students and false, and also for a broader um, Santa Barbara community yeah. that we're really, really looking forward to. And also to give these college students an, a real opportunity to experience the real thing. You know what I mean? To have that, that staff at Ensemble in the wings, so to speak. I presume they're there, they're around, they're keeping tabs on everything as, as the as the show goes on, but exactly so, experience. yeah, exactly wonderful. so, wonderful. Now, why you know, you told me when we chatted a couple of days ago that you're going to have the orchestra on stage. Let's go the Westmont Orchestra. It's going to be playing all the gorgeous music with uh, Michael Schausberger conducting. How how does that work? How how kind of what are the logistics on that stage? It's a not, wonderful stage, but still, I presume a little there are certain limitations. How do you work around that? 
Yeah, that's a great a great question as well. Um, first of all, the orchestra is a is a condensed orchestra. You know, yeah. I mean, if we were going to be doing this, you know, in a big pit and with a cast of, you know, dozens and dozens, um, you know, the orchestra would probably be fifty or sixty. And we have um, um, seventeen in this orchestra. Lovely sound, you know, really full, rich. Um, strings and winds sound with, with percussion. So it's a, it's a lovely, um, you know, um, you know, condensed, compact, but really lush sound that the orchestra has. Um, and so we, we, you know, in some ways I don't want to give away all the surprises, but, um, but we move the orchestra around. So there is one image that we create for the first act and then the, at the, the second act, which is in the house of Rosalinda and the apartment of Gabriel von Eisenstein. And then we um, move to the, um, um, the um, the ball of Prince Arlovsky in the second act, and we move the orchestra somewhere else, and then the third act, the jail, we move the the the, the orchestra great. somewhere else, so that there's a real that they are part of the visual scene of everything, and they are really part of the of the ongoing kind of story structure of the um, show. And, and and as a guy who uh, in my youth spent a whole lot of time in orchestra pits uh, for lots and lots of musicals, uh, what you've just uh, described is going to give these musicians a real experience of theater. They they in some small way are going to have to be actors as well as musicians. Exactly. Yeah. They're they're on. They're yeah. on. They're part of it. Uh, garb is twentieth century, twenty first century modern. Um, the, the, yep, the, the clothing is twenty is twentieth century. You know, a kind of um, in the first act, a kind of heightened, you know, leisured elegance, and um, in the the second act, a kind of wacky haute couture um, <laughs> that comes kind of inspired by the Met Gala and other kind of big, you know, fashion extravaganzas. You've been at Westmont thirty years. Yeah, this is really this is thirty 2018. years. Two thousand eighteen. What's up next? What do you What have you seen? What do you want to talk about as we end this uh, interview? What's What What's in your uh, head about the future? Well, we're we're really the, the frankly our our program is thriving. We are um, we have more students than ever. We have more majors than ever. We have this really great crossover between music and theater, where we have students who are able to you know thrive in both areas. And that's another thing that we're really proud of, as well as of course having majors here, and as well as having students. We have we have chemistry majors in this show, biology majors, um, communication studies majors, psychology majors. So that's really something that that I am also proud of. That you know the true liberal arts. Um, purpose of a college and we can get people into a high high quality artistic experience that where where, where they actually come from studying another discipline yeah. and they will uh, live these moments for the rest of their lives and in some yes, very indeed. important way maybe they're during a appendectomy surgery the uh, surgeon will say oh, you know this reminds me of uh, okay enough of this uh, John Blondell, thank you very, very much for giving me Dan, some time. Dan, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking okay. the time. Let me just run through a couple couple little things. Tickets, $17, 12 bucks for students and seniors. The New Vic Theater, 33 West Victoria Street in downtown Santa Barbara. Uh, Ensemble Theater box office. Area code 805, for those of you watching in Southern California. Area code 805-965-5400. The Flattermaus, the uh, bat, the revenge of the bat, Johann Strauss II, music, acting, crazy plot, wonderful fun. This is going to be great. March 2nd and 4th at 7 p.m. That's Friday and Sunday, March 2nd and 4th, 7 p.m., New Vic Theater in downtown Santa Barbara. John Blondell, thank you very much for your Thank time. you, Dan. Pleasure. Thank right you. Bye-bye.